एवरी वन वेलकम टू ग्रेट अकेडमी सो लेट्स ट्राई टू सॉल्व फ्यू क्वेश्चन बेस्ड अपॉन लॉजिकल ऑपरेटर्स मॉडिफाई ऑपरेटर्स एंड शॉर्ट सर्किट एवेल्यूशन प्रॉपर्टी आई स्ट्रॉन्गली रिकमेंड दैट प्लीज पॉज द वीडियो एंड फर्स्ट ट्राई टू फाइंड द आंसर बाई योर सेल्फ एंड देन ओनली लुक एट माई सोल्यूशन Sir, this is the code. Okay. Let's focus on first line, sir. From the declaration, what we have the variable x with initial value twelve, the variable y with initial value one, and variable z with a garbage value. But I am not showing it here. Okay. This is what we need to solve, sir. Z is equal to y or plus plus x, sir. Sir, firstly, compiler will go to the first operand of or y. What is the value of y, sir? Y is non-zero. Y is the value of y is one, which is non-zero. And what does or operator says? If anyone, if anyone of the operand is non-zero, then the result will be True. That means the output or result will be one. So, so if if the first operand is non-zero, will compiler ever go to the second operand? No, sir. That is the property called as short circuit property of logical OR. If if first operand is non-zero, then compiler will never go to this plus plus x. So the value of x will not be modified by this code. And what is the value that goes inside Z, sir? Or or if at least one value is non-zero, the whole expression is true. And what does true mean? What is the output one? That means this one value goes inside Z. That means what is the value of Z? The value of Z is one. The value of y is one, and the value of x is twelve. So the output of this code is twelve, one, and one. See. I am again repeating this that the short circuit property is dependent upon the first operand. If if we are talking about logical end, then if the first operand is zero, then compiler will never go to the second operand. But if 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 we are talking about logical or, then if the first operand is non-zero, then compiler will never go to the second operand. This is the short circuit property of logical and as well as logical or. I hope you get the solution. Okay, sir. Varbu question number six. Let's try to solve question number seven. Let's try to solve question number seven. Again, I strongly recommend. Please pause the video. Please pause the video and try to solve this question by yourself. Sir, this is a beautiful question. sir what we have we have four variable the value inside variable a is 1 the value inside variable b is minus 1 the value of c is 0 and the value of variable d is garbage okay sir we have or and okay sir what does priority means now you get to know the real meaning of priority sir 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 priority means if an if an operand if an operand is associated with the two operator then then sir let me talk about this plus plus b sir this plus plus b on the right hand side it is and on the left hand side it is or if i ask you if i ask you this plus plus b is an operand for or for or Or this is an operand for and, sir. With which operator this operand is attached, sir? Here comes the task of priority, sir. The priority, the priority of and is more. The priority of and is more as compared to or. What does that mean, sir? Sir, sir. This plus plus b will be associated with this and. try to understand if i say a or b and c sir for this or 
and for this operand, sir, there is no other operator for this operand. So, this operand is associated with this OR. Clear, sir. But coming to this B, sir, we are in confusion whether this B is for this OR or this B is with a, this operator AND. Sir, priority. The priority of AND is more. That means, that means, sir, this B is not with this OR, but this B is with this AND. That means, that means, if this B is with this AND, then, then actually, actually, the whole operation is like this. Sir, the operator will go. The evaluation is from here to here. That means, sir, sir, we are working on OR. We are working on OR operator. The first operand is A and the second operator is this whole, is the second operator. Second operand. Okay. That means, sir, 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 sir. Let me focus again. Let me focus again. Sir, sir, for compiler, how this will be evaluated? Sir, this will be evaluated like this. Okay, okay, okay. That means for this OR, what is the first operand? What is the first operand? Sir, the first operand is pre-decrement of A. Uh, what do you mean by pre-decrement? Sir, first decrement the value and then use the value. That means, that means, sir, what will happen? Actually, this will happen. This is what we need to work upon. Sir, firstly, A is equal to A minus 1. So, what is the current value of A? 1. And if I subtract, sir, the value of A becomes 0. And when I come to this expression, the value of A becomes 0. So, try to understand. Sir, if first operand is 0, Compiler need to evaluate the second operand for sure because the whole value depending upon this. If this is non-zero, the result is non-zero. If this is zero, the result is zero. That means, sir, okay, this is zero. Okay, this is zero. Now, we will talk about this. We will talk about this. Okay, sir. Sir, sir, sir. Sir, for this end, try to understand. For this end, see, I am not going to evaluate this again. Sir, we are working on this. Let me divide this sir sir we have a pre increment and a post increment sir if i talk about pre increment what will happen first increase the value of b first increase the value of b and then use it that means that means if you want me to elaborate this statement this will be b equal to b plus 1 and then b and c plus plus B is equal to C. 0 or I am not using 0 or because this 0 does not have any effect because we, now we are talking about the second operand. Okay, sir. So, what is the value of B? Sir, the value of B is minus 1 and it becomes 0. Sir, once B becomes 0, 0 and something, sir, short circuit. That means if B is 0, will compiler evaluate this? No. So, always remember C C is no, never going to increment it. And, sir, 0 and something is 0. So, what is the value that goes inside D? Sir, the value that goes inside D is 0. Try to understand. C, C, sir, it will never be incremented. The value of D is 0. The value of B is 0. The value of A is 0. So, all the values, all the values are 0 after execution of this code. I strongly recommend this. I strongly recommend this for solving such kind of question. The more you will practice, the more you will get to know how to solve questions like this. And believe me, you can expect questions like this on this particular property. Short circuit, modify operator and logical and logical or. Okay, so what is the output? The output would be 0, 0, 0, 0. So that's the answer of question number 7. What is the output? 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay, sir. Let's try to solve question number 8. Let's try to solve question number 8. Workbook question number 8. Again, again, please pause the video and try to solve question. Please pause the video and try to solve. Sir, from first line, let's declare our variables. 
So we have again four variables. The value of A is 1, the value of B is minus 1, the value of C is 0, the value of D is garbage. Okay. And let me solve this statement. Let me solve this statement. Sir, D is equal to minus minus A or B plus plus and C plus plus. Sir. Sir, if I ask you, this B plus plus is associated with this or, or this end. Sir, the priority is, the priority of end is more. That means this B plus plus is for this end. So, for compiler, the whole expression is like this. That means compiler, for compiler, it is going to evaluate this or whose first operand is this and whose second operand is this. So, compiler first go to minus minus a. Since it is a pre-decrement, since it is a pre-decrement, how things will work out? Sir, a is equal to a minus 1 and then d is equal to a or b plus plus and c plus plus. Done, sir. So, if a is 1, it becomes 0 and the 0 value is used here. Sir, if it is 0, sir, the first operand of logical or is 0, that means will compiler go to second operand? Yes, of course it will go because the whole result is depending upon this. So, let me solve this. Sir, B++ and C++, sir, both of them are post increment. What does post increment say? First, use the value. That means, that means this expression is like this and then increment the value and then increment the value. Try to understand. Try to understand, sir, sir, sir. Okay. That means, that means, don't think about this B++ and C++. Sir, what is the value of B? The value of B is minus 1, which is non-zero. Will compiler go to C? Yes, of course it will go to C. It is 0. See, 0 ending with non-zero, the result will be 0. Sir, 0 or 0, 0 or 0. Try to understand this. Try to understand this. Sir, what is the value that goes inside D? 0. That means 0 or 0. So, what is the value of D is 0. But, 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 sir, because of post increment of B and C, after this statement, after this statement, while using these values, sir, we have to increase B as well as we have to increase C. So, what is the value of B and C? So, sir, of course, of course, B and C will be incremented. That means, sir, B will be stored as 0, C as 1. So, what is the result? What is the result? 0, 0, 1, 0. Sir, the result is 0, 0, 1, 0. That is the final output. So, that is how we are going to evaluate. Evaluate. Don't, don't be in hurry. Don't do mistake. Don't do mistake. Just, just understand the concept and practice a lot these type of questions. So, that chances of mistake is negligible. Okay. Again, this is a big question, but a good question. Please, please pause the video. Please pause the video and try to solve question by yourself. Take 5 to 10 seconds and try to solve the question by yourself. Sir, Sir, we have five variables. The value of variable A, the value of variable A is 2, the value of variable B is 2, the value of variable C is 0, the value of variable D is 2. Now we have variable M as garbage value. Okay. Sir, first let me understand this whole expression. Sir, for this, this B++ is associated with this end or this end. Sir, priority is same. Associativity is from left to right. So, this B++ is with this. Okay. No issue. No confusion at all. Try to understand. In case of AND and OR, don't think much that which one will be performed first. Sir, we will always go from left to right. But you have to parenthesize the expression. Okay. If I say, if I say A++ and B++, and C++ or D++. Sir, this C++ is associated with this or this. Sir, priority of AND is more. 
that means this C++ is with this AND. So, can I say this expression is like this? Yes, sir. So, the final expression is like this. Sir, A++ and B++, first this will be solved. Anding with C++, then, then this will be solved. Oring with D++, this is the entire expression. This is the entire expression we need to work upon. Okay. Okay, sir. Let's try to understand. Let's try to solve it. Step by step. Okay, sir. Sir, firstly, we are working upon and and this is a this is a post increment. That means that means this is nothing but a. And once this once this expression is evaluated. Then we will increase the value of A. What is the value of A? Sir, the value of A is 2. Remember, we have to increase the value of A by 1. We have to increase the value of A by 1. Once here, within this expression, we are using 2. But after this expression, we will increment. We have to increment this. Okay. Sir, what do you mean by B++? It is non-zero. Will compiler go to this? Yes, of course. It is not short circuit. Short circuit? If, if first operand is 0, then compiler will not evaluate this. But in this case, if it is non-zero, that's why compiler will go to here. Sir, again it is a post increment. What does post increment say? Use the value of B, then increment the value of B. So, here only value of B is used, which is 2. And after using it, we have to increment. That means after evaluation of this expression, we need to increase the value of B. Done, sir. And C++. C++. First, let me check what is the result. Non-zero and non-zero. The result will be true. That means we get a value 1. Now, 1 and C++. Sir, C++ is again a post increment. Just use the value of C. What is the value of C? Sir, 0. Try to understand. It is 0. Sir, 1 and 0. 1 and 0 is 0. That means, that means the result of this entire expression is 0. But remember... It is a post increment. That means after evaluation of this, we have to increase the value of C by 1. Now, what we have? We have M is equal to 0 or D plus plus. Sir, since it is 0, compiler will go to here. What is D plus plus? Sir, it is again a post increment. What is the value we are going to use? Sir, 2. That means the value D. And after using it, we need to increase this. Sir, 0 or 2. 0 or non-zero. The result will be true. That means one value will be stored here. One value will be stored here. So the value of M is fixed 1. And we need to increase these values by 1. We need to increase these value by 1. So what is the result? Sir, the value of A is 3. 3, 1, 3, 1. So the, what is the output of this code? 3, 3, 1, 3, 1. The output of this code is 3, 3, 1, 3, 1. Try to understand, sir, sir, it looks so bad initially, but it is so easy. Once you get to learn the concept and how increment, decrement, modify operator, logical and logical or short circuit property works, then it is so easy. It is damn easy. So, what is the output of this code? Let's see whether we have 33131 as an option or not. Sir, the answer is option B, 33131. Option C is 33130, compilation error, some garbage value. So, what is our answer? Our answer is option B. That is 3, 3, 1, 3, 1. So that's all for this video. Bye-bye. Take care.